Hi my friends, today we model this part. It has some interesting features and all the necessary dimensions are here. We start by creating this contour 60 on 60, 20, radius 20, radius 6, and 25. Let's create this feature. Standard millimeters IPT, sketch this plane, x to the right, and we create a circle with a radius of uh, 20. Then we draw lines 1, 2, 3. Now be careful, I keep pressed the left button when I am at the end of this line and I go down and to the right. Then I go here finding the tangency. Then I apply here a tangency. You see this is on the same line. This point is on this line because I created a perpendicular arc on this. Trim and dimensions. This is twenty five degrees decimal uh, sexagesimal angle, radius six, dimension sixty here and 60 here. One dimension needed. What is that dimension? Maybe a tangency. Let's see. This tangency, yes? I cannot remove this uh, constraint because it is not a dimension. Good. Finish sketch. Extrude 6. Okay. Then we have to create this uh, feature and uh, I use, we, we don't have this dimension, even if it is uh, calcula calculable here, but I prefer to ignore this. 29.45. This is the face and this is the construction very simple 29 is this dimension and 45 degrees here 45 finish sketch what is the definition 27 this is 27 because they are symmetrical extrude this the other direction 27 okay now I go to the back and 
I create a circle on this bottom line with a radius of 25 you see here radius 25 then I place on the same vertical this point with the midpoint of this line trim some uh, non necessary arcs then extrude this is the profile with cut all the way okay we apply this fillet of radius 6 here 6 okay then we take a look to this hole you see the hole is uh, six diameter this one this is uh, the counter bore of radius six and the dimension of 16 the position on vertical is 50 let's create this counter bore hole we create a new plane based on this tool this is the mid plane and we use it to create a sketch f7 line from this face to the right up left and back to this line connecting the two this dimension is 15 Then I made this center line. Diameters are 6 and 12. This line has a length of 16. And this is not uh, constrained at all I constrain it but by uh, projecting this arc and applying co coincident this line with this point if somebody changes the shape this is uh, outside always fully constrained revolve with cut ok this is not visible and we have uh, half of uh, the two features we create a new plane a mid plane this is the plane because we want to apply mirror mirror of what of revolution fillet and extrusion and the other extrusion mirror plane is this okay we hide uh, this uh, plane and we advanced very nice you see 
there is a fillet of radius 3 here we apply fillet of 3 on both edges okay then a hole this hole of 30 placed at 5 millimeters from this this is the center point of our work 5 and 23 measured from here I place a point on this face point dimension of 5 dimension of 23 and finish sketch then hole of 30 already placed here selected automatically that point okay i suppose this is finished let's see what is the volume i properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is here it is absolutely the same so I cancel changing this value I go to the material material is still carbon and it looks very nice view shaded and we compare with the original if you see any difference I also see that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye